Let's convert liters of CH4 to moles. So CH4, this is methane gas we're talking about. We have 24.4 liters. This is just a number that we made up for the problem here. So a good way to remember how to convert from liters to moles is to use this mnemonic here. So this will help us remember. If we were going from moles to liters, we'd multiply by 22.4 and the units liters per mole here. In this case, we're doing the opposite. So instead of multiplying, when we go from moles to liters, we're going to divide because we're going from liters to moles. So we do the opposite, divide by 22.4, again, liters per moles. Those are the unit. And this is nice because when we go from moles to another unit, we do multiply. Moles to liters, it's by 22.4 liters per mole. When we go from moles to grams, multiply by the molar mass. Or when we go from moles to, say, particles like molecules, we'll multiply by Avogadro's number. If we go the reverse, when we go to moles, then we'll divide. So in this case, 24.4 liters, and we want to get that to moles, so we're going to divide this by 22.4 liters per mole. Let's do that. So here we have liters on top and on the bottom. So that's going to leave us with moles. So that's what we're looking for. So we know we set it up correctly. 24.4 liters divided by 22.4, kind of strange numbers here, we get 1.09. And the units, they are going to be moles. That's all that's left there. So that's how you convert liters of methane gas to moles. Do note that methane gas is a fairly ideal gas, so this works well, and that we're at STP, standard temperature and pressure. Since it's a standard temperature and pressure, we really just don't need to worry about temperature or pressure when we do this calculation. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.